If you're not incorporating artificial intelligence into your startup today, are you even actually building a startup? I mean, it causes you to question what you're doing because we're at a time where AI is the thing that everybody's talking about. Now, I don't know that there's agreement on whether AI is a product in and of itself or simply a feature to augment other products. But I do know if you're an early stage startup, tech or otherwise, people are going to be asking how you've incorporated AI. And that, to me, feels very much like the dot-com days or the dot-com bubble, which, as everyone know, infamously burst. Uh, and, and I think they're wondering the same thing about AI. Like, that will this continue to be a thing? Is it a moment in time? And I'm here to say, yeah, AI is exactly like the dot-com days. And I think that's a very good thing. <laughs> Stick with me here. You're like, oh, how do you know it's like the dot-com days? Well, I, I'm old enough that the very first like actual venture-funded startup that I worked for got swept up in all of the dot-com hype. We were an installed software company that realized if we were going to continue to successfully raise capital, we were going to have to play the dot-com game. And so we did. And so did a lot of other companies during that time. And I was pretty naive. I thought it would just always go up and to the right. Obviously, it didn't. But at the time, it was a really inspiring, optimistic time because we had this new platform called the web. We saw people generating significant wealth by having a web-based solution. And as startup folks, it was all anyone was talking about at that point in time. Now, eventually, our company would go public, the market would crash, <laughs> the the shares and options I had were uh, overnight suddenly underwater. And so it was a painful learning experience for me. And yet, seeing artificial intelligence, seeing AI take on some of that same kind of bubble activity, it, it gives me hope. And I'll tell you why. Because at that point in time, that optimism, that belief that we could build something new, that technology could empower us in a new and meaningful way, was, was prevalent, so prevalent, it was, it was practically inescapable. And I'm feeling that with AI. And what I love about these early times, before we really figure the technology out, I think you saw this in mobile too, before you really figure the technology out, you just have to be creative with the technology and you have to be curious and you have to explore things. And yes, people will do stupid things. People will do things that seem stupid now, but a decade from now will seem obvious and will work because of the timing, even though they might not work right now. But it's a very creative time to be engaged with tech. And if you're struggling with trying to figure out AI, I would just encourage you to stick with it and to not resist the urge to do things and try things that may wind up being wrong because it's that creative exploration that enables us to really discover the right applications of technology and really enables us to fully understand it through that creative, sometimes artistic exploration. Like I can remember the days, there were the dot-com days, 
And then there was like Flash, and Flash became this big deal. But it was also like something the creative community embraced and started doing things with the web that weren't designed to be businesses. They were just designed to use this technology in new and interesting ways. And that's how AI feels to me right now. You know, I, to put it another way, you never get the mobile application technology we have today without somebody building a fart app for the iPhone. I mean, it's, it's, it's as basic as that. So if you're getting frustrated hearing about artificial intelligence, if you're not sure exactly what to do with it or how it applies to your startup, or maybe you've already got something going and you're like, how do we reposition ourselves in this new age of AI? I would highly encourage you to just get creative. Don't resist taking risks. Do stuff that may potentially be wrong, but just experiment because it's through that experimentation we're going to find the true application of this technology. And in the long run, anything you learn from AI experimentation today is going to benefit you in the future, the same way as my learning during the dot-com days continues to benefit me day in, day out when I help startups, and the same way seeing a similar bubble around mobile has helped inform me working with founders today. So embrace AI. Muck around with it. Do things that don't make sense. Do things to try them just because you want to try them. Like, don't think everything you do has to be a business. Don't think everything you do is required to be a billion-dollar idea. Just try stupid shit with AI and figure out what the potential uses are and how you would like to employ that technology, either as a feature or a product. Please, we'll all be better off for it. All right. Well, I hope you're hanging in there. Till we get the chance to chat again, please keep up the good work. <laughs>